Welcome back to the Tierra Talk Show, and we have an additional wonderful interview I'd like to include with our podcast. And I have our guests, and I would love for them to introduce themselves to you. Hi, I'm uh, Jennifer Joyner Higgins, and I was friends with Barbie back in 1994-95. And I'm Crystal Nelson Hare, and I was also friends with Barbie in 94 and 95. I am Wendy Capolo Fennell, and I was friends with Skipper uh, about 94, 95. And I'm Kelly Hubbard Ballou, and I was besties with Barbie and friends with Skipper in 94, 95. And I'm so grateful that you guys are on the show because, as you've already seen through, we've been messaging back and forth, but I just have this obsession with Barbie, even though I never got to meet her in Epcot. But I think you guys know the VHS tape is what I'm referring to. But something that I found out was that Barbie met in the theme parks. So um, working as best friends with Barbie and Skipper in the theme parks is just, um, it seems so unusual to the regular Disney fan because technically Barbie's Mattel, but she made her grand entrance as the friendship ambassador. So um, why don't you girls talk about like the initial auditions or at least hearing that Barbie was going to be a part of Epcot. Like what was the talk of the town with the cast members at that point when you heard that? Um, Who wants to go first? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'll go. I, I just I don't even think I knew Barbie was there and I, I think we were all or most of us were at the same audition just that's what I was thinking you know, too sh- just showing up kind of for fun to see what would happen and personally mm-hmm. I in my mind this is Jennifer I was more of a dancer <laughs> so I was thinking oh you know parades and dancing not even thinking that this is what would happen or what I'd be cast in at the audition I don't know how yeah. the others feel, but that's what happened in my case. Yeah, that, that's, this is Kelly, and that's the same thing. I went because my dad said I was a freshman in college, and he said it's time for a job. So <laughs> I went to the audition with a friend, not even thinking that I would even get a job there, and let alone I didn't know Barbie was at Epcot. And my dad has worked there my entire life, and I didn't know that. So that was a oh. big shock, and it ended up being like some of the best memories of my life. Yes, I agree. I was talk, um, talked into going to that audition. I think it was Valencia Community College, and mm-hmm. there was like thousands of people there, and we were there all day, all day. I went with my cousin. He had to leave for work, and I stayed, and it was, yeah, like one of those things you don't think you're going to ever get a job, and they at the end, they picked us out of a crowd, basically, and said, hey, come try on some wigs <laughs> and makeup, yeah. and that was it. <laughs> Like all three parks were there because at the time there was only three parks and a representative came up and picked you out of a crowd and said, come back here. And as you were doing dances across the thing, you know, after that, they tried on wigs and uh, makeup and took pictures. And then you got a phone call later. (laughs) Did Chuck pick you guys out? Chuck grabbed me. Did he get you guys? Yes. Yes. Chuck. Yes. Chuck Johnson grabbed me too. I know. That's so funny. (laughs) <laughs> I, I actually had a little bit different story because I came in at the end um, and I'm from Lake City. So um, I was down there actually trying out for the Orlando Magic Cheerleaders and a friend of mine was there and she was like, Crystal, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm, you know, trying to move down here. And she's like, well, I'm doing the Barbie show and you'd be perfect. And she got me a private audition. And um, anyway, so I went down there and I guess um, I auditioned and they were like, well, um, we really, really need a, 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 you know, face roll, someone for meet and greet. So anyway, and it was really crazy because there was a, um, a freeze over the whole company. Like they weren't hiring anybody. And so Hmm. I was just like, yeah, I was apparently the only one that got hired um, during that (laughs) time. So that was pretty cool. Thank goodness you did. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Jennifer and I were speaking the other day that there was uh, a handbook that Mattel had given you guys, Disney and Mattel, just to have like the rundown of Barbie herself and her history. So, wh- mm-hmm. do you remember what was included in that? Was like the names of all the characters? What what specific oh, kind oh, yeah. of stands out in your mind from from that specific standpoint? Yeah, I remember her full it- name was in there. It's Barbara Mal. Millicent Roberts. I mean, I never yeah. knew her full name. We had, we had oh, yeah. her name yeah. and her age. And yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I yeah, remember yeah, the family we, members. We had to learn the sisters and everybody. Uh-huh. Um, 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. They want, and they wanted you to stay up to date. They wanted you to go into the stores and keep current. And, you know, one of the coolest things is a, a little girl was in a wheelchair and came up and the mom was like, you know, tell, tell her. And she said, you know, Barbie, can you make a Barbie in a wheelchair? And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm like, you know, nobody, <laughs> I, could, I, didn't, I didn't even know what to say. And um, I said, well, you know, I don't even remember exactly what I said. It was a while ago, but, you know, lo and behold, I was in the store and they had come out with a Barbie in a wheelchair. And I was like, thank you, Jesus. I was so excited. <laughs> I was like so happy. Huh. And how to write her name. I remember I had such horrible handwriting and they all went out <laughs> to look the same. <laughs> After oh, yeah. break, they would make me come in and practice the writing over and over again. So, oh my that gosh, <laughs> I remember those oh, scented markers. It. Oh yeah, yeah those were awesome. Wow, they were so good. <laughs> I still have I them. The I think I have a pink and a purple one. <laughs> oh, how I funny! Have you. And bobby pins and earrings. My daughter. Oh yeah, a the party. wig cap, it's everything. Oh, I think I still have the yeah, the pacifier earrings. Up? I think yeah. Yep. That's, That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my LA gears, but they fell apart. They like died. But you remember? Like, oh my gosh! Oh, yes, that was light cool up because LA the gears. Yeah, they had the light. <sighs> the back, and that was like that wasn't like common back then. Like the light in the back of the sneaker was like you were cool, right? Those, so. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I had the Barbie. skipper. Skipper had the pink um, high top Converse, I think it was. And I don't think they were awesome. in back then, but they came back. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to say, what, a couple yes. years ago they came back? I was yes. in the store with my daughter, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I said, I wore those. I wore those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I love all the styles. I'm so glad you brought up the, cl- the clothing itself because there are such fabulous outfits. Like, I, I, I honestly love any type of 90s gear, especially when they had this show. They had all the dresses and everything. But I think Barbie and Skipper, like, you guys looked so fabulous. I, from the photos I've seen, it always looked like you guys had really comfortable outfits thank gosh because we all know that the princesses don't always have the most comfortable outfits especially in 90 degree heat so yeah. i love that <laughs> that's for sure but we still had to wear stockings yep. for some reason yeah, so we could not yeah we our did belly buttons, that was the even thing even though it was the it mid-dress was the we could not yeah we couldn't show our yeah. belly button so that skirt had to come oh, above that's right. our belly button that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, that's I had an on interesting um, rule. What was it like floods? I had on overall floods basically. And yeah. once I got a costume that fit and I wasn't wearing somebody else's, it was much more comfortable. But still, I had to wear uh, stockings underneath it, and it was like, oh my god, it's so hot. Why? Why? So anyway. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what about what about the show itself? Because I'm assuming a lot of kids came up to you maybe after a show occurred um, and were asking questions maybe about the show. So, did you guys at least have to know? the synopsis of the show and the songs just so you weren't like oh oh that's what you're talking about something like that <laughs> yeah absolutely we did and we i think we had to watch the show didn't we yeah we did we had to watch it it was it was yes. it was cute i loved it It was really catchy the barbie theme song was very catchy <laughs> <laughs> play it over and over in your head so yes exactly after i watched that video of yours um tammy i, I heard it and i was like oh my gosh and then it got stuck in my head because <laughs> you guys got it in the limo too all day yep. <laughs> yes oh, yeah, it was limo it was blaring out of yeah, the speakers the limo. barbie's world oh let's, my gosh let's talk about that limo because i thought oh. it was like the coolest thing ever and you girls got to ride in it so tell me every single detail i need to know go ahead oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh and my I gosh! Think for granted. <laughs> I think we took it for granted because it was like, okay, get in the car, you know. After yeah, while. for sure. Um, it was like, wasn't it gray inside? Yeah, gray. It was gray. I don't and it remember. sunk down in the middle where it was so long. Yeah, it was like yeah. Too long. And so it sunk. It looked down like it was gonna middle. break in the middle. It was so long. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it was like gray, velvety, or something inside, and a lot of glass and mirrors. I remember brushes and yeah. combs. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like it stranded many of times. <laughs> What's that? It, it broke down several, several times. They oh, ended up gosh, getting a yeah. sob convertible right. member. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do. Sob, sob, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. I actually, oh. Mike Russell actually rolled my stomach. I got was caught. I was still up in there waving, and he started to shut the sunroof, <laughs> and it was closing on my ribs, and I was like banging, 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 and then Ken. Our friend Ken finally was like, oh, let her out. 
I thought my room was crashed. <laughs> oh and I God. smashed my fingers in the door and had to go to first aid. Oh, oh yeah, my gosh. Fun times in that limo. Fun times. Oh my gosh. I took a I nap in that limo. I had a, did you? I had a bird <laughs> poo on my arm and Bernie <laughs> like ran in the limo, got a towel. And then I, so I went back in the limo to clean my arm and she's walking back and forth, bent over in front of the windows. Cause everybody came to the windows. To take oh pictures. yeah. That was hilarious. Oh gosh. Well, like were there, were there a lot of diehard Barbie fans that ever came in line and greeted you with any like particular questions? Oh, I had um, one lady, she had bags full of uh, original Barbies in the boxes and asked to have them all signed. Oh, my gosh. And asked, asked, asked me, or asked right out the gate, you know, are, are you real? Are you her? And I said, yeah. And <laughs> signed them. she said, well, good, because none of these would be worth anything if you were. And I was thinking, oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> wow. that was interesting. And she was she was first one there, very first set. You know, she had, must yeah. have been there since they opened. But yeah, she was diehard for sure. Wow. <clears throat> so what, what what was it like when your time was off? When you had those you know extra fifteen twenty minutes? Did you guys you know when you had a break for lunch? Did you go to a specific country for lunch or something like that? Was there anything like you had to go to at least you know once a week or something like that, like a hangout? Oh, Wendy, um, I, I have a great memory because I oh always boy. loved that <laughs> chocolate cake that they had at the Odyssey, and when they didn't have it, they had it yes. an adventure. So yes. Mike would drive us behind, you know, over to American Adventure really quick to grab that cake. And I just remember you always with me because I had to have that cake. I loved yes, it. Yes, yes. At least once a week. If not At least once a week. <laughs> yeah, as far as I remember, we just went to the, you know, we had our breaks. We went back to the break room and, you know, either had a drink or whatever and that's it. Because then you had, by the time you got back in, you know, from the ride, you had about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes if that. And then you'd get back in and do the whole thing over again because you had to drive backstage to get to the other gate that you had to come out of. But lunch was always, yeah, either at the Odyssey or like once a week we would go and get the cake. <laughs> yeah, get the cake. I loved that. I yep. loved that cake. Ugh. Yeah. And it was funny because you had to, you couldn't get your costume dirty, so you either had to take half of it off, or remember we had those, like, lab jackets we wore? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. And we used to yeah, walk, smock, walk to lunch with those. The smock, that's right, the smock, that's right. The smock, yes. <laughs> lab jacket. <laughs> My question, like another question for you guys is like, why, like in your opinion, do you think that anybody like Disney fans who would come regularly, did they have a problem? Like, was there ever a stigma to Barbie as there is now about her, you know, I intruding in Epcot, basically? I don't, oh, yeah. Some think, I don't remember like it. I don't I remember that at all. Were like, why are you here? I think it was more of the people like kind of, um the feminist then they didn't like it i remember people saying you're making girls anorexic why are you even at disney world i, I remember that one lady and she's oh gosh i'll never forget that um oh I'm not happy about barbie at epcot but i do oh, know my. because back back then in the mid 90s like epcot was not really a family oriented park because i remember growing up we did not enjoy going to epcot my brother and sister because we thought it was boring because it was just the country right. except for mm -hmm. space of earth so I think one of the reasons they partnered is to draw, like, kids back in. And they also started to have character shows there and other characters, like the character mm -hmm. Carnival and all, all of these other shows to try to get children back over to Epcot. And that was and, – and that's why Barbie wasn't really there that long because once they were able to succeed in that, I think they just kind of, you know, thanks for the stage, they, see ya, you know. I was told they had a four-year contract, and it ended early, I guess. But I do know that the cart that sold Barbies right next to the meet and greet area was the highest um, uh, selling merchandise on property. Wow. wow. <clears throat> Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was the Disney World Barbie, right? The one with the, like the Disney right. ears, well, like the They had ears. a couple mm -hmm. of different, they had the Disney World Barbie and they also had Paint and Dazzle, which was her costume. And the lines were always full. Like, I don't ever remember a time when the line was not at capacity. Mm -hmm. No, and for sure. Yeah. And that the show wasn't packed. I mean, it definitely brought in, um, you know, revenue for the park, for sure. For, mm -hmm. what is it, three years they were there? So about a year and a half, I guess, That, that at least for oh, the wow. show. I don't know how long Barbie was there. 
So since wait, so who who was there? Who was the last Barbie? One of the last Barbies? Like what? What? How long was your contract I till? I think we all were. I was the weekend Barbie because I was in college and I was there till they took it away, like in ninety five. Yeah. 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 So, so they did take I, yeah, it away. I was in there Monday through Friday. Mm-hmm. Um, th- I was there the last day, all the way through the last days, and I think I was there ten months with her, and then, you know, just you know because she was part of the character department, so mm-hmm. I just went into characters after that. I um, have the I, name on the, from the back of the jacket, the Barbie with the sparkle. Oh my gosh, you do close. Yeah, yeah, I do. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't. I don't have any. I didn't get the shoes. I want those pink Converse. Um, I have the pacifier <laughs> earrings that Skipper wore, and I think maybe the necklace, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, I have some earrings. Those big hubcap earrings, and they used to use that toupee tape on my ears, and then my ears. Oh yeah. Were, like the skins are ripping off, so they had to go to some smaller earrings because those things were huge. Oh yeah. It was definitely a 90s staple and it's been 25 years. So what what have you each of you been up to since then? You know, are, have you did you continue working for Disney and how long and what have you, you know, what what where did you go and broaden your horizons after Disney? Ooh, Gosh, we start Jen, with you Jen. first. Jen, you go first. Go first. Yeah. I'll go first. <laughs> well, I I actually stayed there for 19 years. Um in in That's awesome. And was in the opening cast of the Lion King show over at a festival of Lion King at Animal Kingdom, and then I moved into management and entertainment management. And when I when I left, I was a costuming manager, um, and That's I worked awesome. in all the parks and, and all the resorts. And yeah, I mean, I did a lot of stuff there. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah, I've oh, learned wow. a lot. Disney definitely provided a lot for me. Crystal. Um, well, I actually, um, got with my high school sweetheart and moved back home to Lake city. And I have, uh, three kids. I still teach dance. I have two dance teams that, um, one that travels and, and then one with my daughter's school. And then, um, I also help my husband with, um, he works for FCA, which is fellowship of Christian athletes. And, So we work with youth a lot and take trips and do plan movie days and concerts and all kinds of fun stuff for kids. And so that's that. And and right now I'm looking at the Suwannee River. It's in it flows through my backyard and and that's what we do. We're just doing (laughs) day by day. That's awesome. Um, I actually stayed working at Disney until 1998 and. Um, let's see, after Barbie, I went to um, Tokyo Disney and worked there for um, seven months and came back and just continued to work with Disney in different um, face roles. I was friends with other ladies. And um, yeah, and then I left and moved to California and married my husband. But I'm not in California now. I'm in Arizona. <laughs> it's, been, it's been amazing. And Disney has definitely gave, uh, given me a lot in my life. And I uh, I, I'd be nowhere without it. I loved it. It was the best experience of my life. Yep, same. Well, after Barbie went away, I am, got a paid internship um, at Media Relations at Disney. So I was there for about a year. And then um, I went on to become a um, news reporter, weather anchor in Kentucky and Savannah. And then I met my husband and married him. And now we live in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, he does sports talk radio, and I drive the kids to all their practices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that's, that's the other thing. I drive kids everywhere. I feel like I'm in the everywhere. car nonstop. Uh-huh. Never did I envision this. No, no. Not in Barbie's you know, si- world. Not in Barbie's no, world. signing autographs, you know, at Skipper and Barbie <laughs> and with a line of people. Never envisioned I'd be carting kids around to all their stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, now, the next time you cart them around, here's what you got to do. You got to play, you know, in Barbie's world in the car and just randomly oh play. And they'll gosh. be like, what in the world is going that on? <laughs> yes. I did, oh my I gosh. did show what? my 14-year-old that video yesterday, the um, the girls at Epcot. She's like, what is that? So I know. It's very funny. <laughs> and she did say that Epcot looks the same. So that was her comment. Oh, 14-year-old. Okay. So. Oh, there yeah. you go. 
I really want to thank you guys so much for being able to talk 90s with me. Um, uh, if there's anything I, I if there's anything you'd like to say to any of the big, you know, the big Barbie fans out there besides me, um, <laughs> what would you like to say to those uh, those girls and those boys in particular? Because they are, as you saw, I did send you some photos. Some of them are posting photos of, you know, meeting you guys. So that was a treat for them. So what would you like to say to the fans? Jen? <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Thanks for the memory. I know. Let's start. Go in order again. No. No. no it was um, definitely, you know, it was a blessing and a and a proud moment. Um, and just yeah, I mean, it was the start of my Disney career. I never mm-hmm. thought I w- I thought I was going to just do this thing and then, you know, leave when yeah. I was done. And and 19 years later, and now I'm a director for a technology company. Like I'm without all of the experiences and things that. Um, that I learned out there and, you know, and Barbie started it all off, I, I wouldn't be where I am today. So um, that's how, the, you know, that's where I'm at with this. <laughs> that's where I'm at. Yeah. That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was definitely an honor. It was such an honor and a, a dream come true. I had two dreams growing up and one was to have my own dance studio, which I did after I came home, I opened up a studio for a while and the other was to work at Disney. And I tell you what, it's, it's nothing can compare. It's the most rewarding job in the whole world. And I wouldn't trade it for millions of dollars. And uh, anyway, I, I would just say thank you to everybody because that was just, it was so special. Yes, I agree. I was honored to be picked to play, you know, Skipper. I liked being the little sister. I am a little sister, so... <laughs> I understood it and uh, it was the time of my life. And I mean, thanks for, you know, thanks to Barbie and all the fans that it was even possible. So it all changed my life for the better and I'll never forget it. It was the time of my life for sure. I agree. And I just think it was just so much fun and it just gives you so much joy to see how much joy you're giving to a child, a little girl who just looks up to you and thinks that you are Barbie just to Mm -hmm. see their faces light up. It just was just a a feeling that you just can't really describe. And it's funny, about a year ago, a girl at my church came, oh, I shouldn't say a girl, she's a grown lady, came up and she's like, had a picture and it was me with her as a little girl when she touched the sea Barbie. And I about died. I'm like, are you kidding me? So you just don't realize where your pictures are throughout the entire world. Like we saw people from every, like all countries. So it was just an yeah. experience of a lifetime. And um, I know you girls, like, I just love you guys. And just all the times that we had together it was just awesome. Awesome. We yes. have a reunion. That's, mm-hmm. that's yeah, I was going to say, that's the other thing. Oh, the like friends and, <laughs> yeah, it's the go. friends and the family that you make working there yeah. and just being there. Uh, it's, it's, oh, it's crazy. It's amazing. It is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Barbie now.